Here we are, fishing friends, and welcome back to the channel. Say hello to the wingman. Hello, guys. Great to be out with you, sir. It is with you as well, mate. Friday, Friday feeling? Yeah, mate. Yeah, so we are out, we are on the plim. Bling rig part two, right? So I, I, I got mucked off a few times on that last video, as you saw, really crazy bites. And I might actually put change this Aberdeen down to a little tiny hook. Just, I really want to catch a gilthead up here. So we've got loads of bait left from the other day. Long story, right? And yeah, so running pat, and on the other rod, I've got exactly the same setup, but just without the bling. And it's just, that's just gonna fish on the bottom. And I'm determined to catch some schoolies here. And Brett's got a, you're gonna stick a rod down you, mate. Yeah, mate, I'm gonna stick a pop-up up. up. And, um, over here, I'll, no, I'll introduce you in a minute. Over here, we have Sir Keith of Warwick. He's come out with us today, so I'm sort of guiding Keith today on an unprofessional basis, but professional, you know what I mean? Yeah, so welcome along, guys. I'm the Bass Man. You can call me the Mullet Man if you want. I really don't care <laughs> at this moment. I love my mullet fishing. And yes, there's too many mullet videos. So, yeah, I'm saying it's going to change. It's going to change. So more bass videos, I must just keep this rod, the mullet rod at home. Just, I just can't help it, guys. It's just good, isn't it, Brett? Yeah, mate, it certainly is, mate. It's just a buzz. Can, can, can you tell me something, mate? What? Can you explain why there's two loaves of bread next to your box? All right. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> and there's my mullet rod, <laughs> just there. <laughs> Right, so I'm mainly bass fishing today, guys. Right, with a, with a tiny bit of money just thrown in. Right, but no, mainly, honestly, I'm, I'm going to be concentrating today on the bass and, and maybe a hot... No one. mullet. No mullet, no. <laughs> right, thanks very much, mate. Anyway, so yes, if... Um, so we are on the plim. We are on the plim. We are on the middle plim today, right? So it's like we're on Middle Earth, yeah? And Mordor is that way. So if you just... Um, Drop back that way a bit, yeah? I'm just going to introduce the river. I give you, stop, mullet rod. <laughs> you almost stood on it. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the river plim. River plim. <laughs> river plim, yes, fishing. We are out. This is the river plane. This is my backyard, Bassman's backyard. The first video I ever made like 8 million years ago when I actually looked young and didn't have all these wrinkles. And here we are again today. And it's a massive tide. It's just turned. Wingman's been on fire lately with the mullet. Sir Keith of Warwick is over here. Hello, Sir Keith. Good afternoon, everybody. And his, 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 his son's Mark Warwick, who's a very keen angler. I say keen, isn't he? Very keen. He's keen. Yes, yeah, so there you go, Mark. There's your mention. He's keen. <laughs> keen. <laughs> so, yeah, we like to have a bit of banter, don't we, Dad yeah, and Son? Yeah, especially about the conger eels. Yeah, so, yeah, so we're going to... Keith's going to fish a mullet rod and he's going to fish a bait rod. And we're going to catch some fish today. And if we don't, I'm going to throw this bloody phone in the river. <laughs> so good luck. Wish me luck. Stick with it, guys. Come on, mate. I will be hitting the beaches very soon. Is that a can of pea juice? Might be. You know it gives you wings. And fish. <laughs> so here we are, just getting set up. The tide isn't quite here yet. Turkey. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna have like just just I don't know. 20 minutes? Give me that, yeah? Just 20 minutes, I promise. Right. Go on, saw it out, mate. So, wingman's been and spent four quid on a saw. We have an obstruction but we do have the technology. Go on, son. Yeah, I've got loads of nice lug left there from the other day. On his last leg, by the look of it. Yeah. And some 
rag that's uh, seen better days and a few live crab. Very nice. So yes, we're up the um, higher end. No secret anymore. <laughs> I, I usually fish the other side, you know, you don't have to fish this side. But yeah, just for a change. Here we are, Captain's Log. Just got my uh, spare bits and bobs in there in a tray. I've got quite a bit in there really. Spare hooks, mullet rigs, pop up rigs. Now this sucker's caught me quite a few bass with a ragworm on it with that spinner blade and I actually sell these on my website guys fishingguidesdevon.co.uk forward slash shop if you fancy yes so I've got lots of spare gill rigs nice little um, canoe type pattern and I've, I've upgraded this year to the full circle we did really well last autumn on that. And they're also available as a stinger rig behind a, a size 3 over here. Anyway, enough of the sails. I'm gonna need some extra power. Oh yeah. Feed you say. Right, I think that's 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 a little bit too big for me that pan. That's likely, yes it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> There's Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Is it a plesiosaur? Okay guys, so I've just found this, um, all right, I'm, I'm having a little mullet fish just for 10 minutes because the bass don't come up straight away. But I found this nice stick of the dump, I'm gonna call it. So a nice obstruction, there's all sorts in there. And it's sort of caused this, in its wake, there's, it's built up. And I'm sort of hid down behind that. And the tide is just starting to flood. And I'll tell you something else, shall I? I'll just go back a bit, hang on. So you can get the, uh, the lay of the land. There's obviously a big dip, there's a bank. I've just walked up a bank there. And there's the obstruction. And you can see it sweeps around on this inner bank. And down here, behind this obstruction, when the tide's hammering in, I guarantee you the bass will be in behind there, out of the pressure of the tide. Because bass, they, they're very lazy, they just, they don't like going in the tide. So they'll, they'll lie behind this here and they'll, it'll be an ambush point. So they'll just ambush anything that's coming up, any bait fish, any smelt. Um, there's, sand, there's been sand deals up here lately, crazy, isn't it? So yeah, this, this obstruction here is really turning me on. And look, my rods, Sorry about the wind guys. My rods are just up on top of the bank and I'm going to be putting one right down here. Right down in this little, this little inner channel bit here that's dry at the moment. Because I know the bass will be behind it. I guarantee you. There's Brett just casting out. Yes. So a bit of info for you there. Look for an obstruction in the river fish behind it. Also you lure guys as well, lure, lure anglers. Even better. Here we go, we have a lift off. My 
rig, fix pack. This is my go-to rig now. So many slammers, guys, on the fixed pack. The reason is they're pulling against not only the rod tip, but also the weight. Very good self-hooking rig. Especially if you're a novice beginner and you're not you're not used to striking money. Highly recommended. Time to vacate my little hiding place, I think. Big push coming in now, look. Time to move. Right, here we are, guys. Lovely lug. Lucky lug, these are. Hopefully. So they are a bit a bit floppy. You've seen you've seen the floppy trick, haven't you? So he's uh, he's not so floppy look. There you go. He's got a bit of a, yeah, he's a bit stiff there. Right, so let's get this on the hood and get it out there. Look, so there's the bling rig. I've got a bit of rag, dead rag, on there. But the tide will make that look nice, yeah. And on here. I'm just going to go pure bait. Sorry about the wind again. So I've got a size 6 Kamakura behind the 1.0 Kamazan Uptide B95U, I believe. And that is my top favourite hook. This has got a nice narrow gate. Yeah, nice, good for a worm, very good, good worm hook. Good, yeah, good for the presentation, I suppose. Yeah. So, First one, you try not to split the worm. You just move it up out of the way. And if you cannot split the worm, guys, that's really, really good. Right, so that's still intact, yeah. And then you go for another, another floppy one. There we go. And try and go for the middle. I think I just missed that. But the most important thing is to keep the hook in the middle of the worm. So try not to split that worm unless you really, really have to. Okay, so there you go. There's two worms, beautifully presented. And look at the stinger hook disguised behind the worm. There you go. That is that is how you bait up. And that's not a big bait either. That's just a tiny. That's a, that's a normal sort of bait, yeah. So yeah, wish me luck. Bass, what do they look like? <laughs> Before you go, check this out. These Canadian geese, oh my god. They got they got some uh, they got some giving them, haven't they? <laughs> yeah. Alright. What do these things eat? There's the obstruction I was on about uh, 15 minutes ago. And you can see there's going to be a nice bit of slack water behind there when, that, when this tide's racing in. Good spot for fish just down there. Yeah, so I'm fishing these uh, two bait rods that are straight out in front of me. And I've got a sneaky mullet rod just rested on the side of the stand there, look. There in the middle. And that one's poking that way. So it's quite a good idea you can actually do two things at the same time. And very often, as, you, as you've seen, the mullet can save the day. Go. Right. Yeah. He's 
gone. Yes, I am the bass man. I am the bass man. <laughs> Micro bass man. No, that's not small, mate. Go on, sir. So yeah, we've just moved up the system because we had to, because we we're a bit concerned about getting out of where we were. So we've just put mullet rods out here, and right there, I've got the uh, a bait rod out with a pop-up rig, just literally out there. Done. And Brett's been stung on the bottom, haven't you, dear? Haven't you? <laughs> oh! How far out are you? Uh, almost near the middle. Close, mate. I got that. I'm, I'm filming that. That was so close. So that is the result of that uh, magnificent bite that Brett was getting. But you can see the hook there. Look. So once he's felt that hook, that's it. Game hey, over. What are you doing, mate? Hey. What are you doing? Don't give away my secret spot and my secret, my secret carrying method. Hey. <laughs> Not far. <laughs> Mate, I, I hope you pay for that one. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> Come on. It's alright, I don't think it's that big, mate. Mate. You're struggling? So yeah, so we've moved up and yes, this is a mullet rod. Whoa. Uh, first cast, by the way. Nice little, uh, nice little stickleback to start off with. Yeah. Bass video. Yes, that's how you do it, isn't yeah. it, mate? Bass. It's a <laughs> bass. bass. It's a bass. Yeah. yeah. Bass. Bass. Oh. Right, let's get him in, shall we? Yeah, nice little uh, one to start with. We didn't do very well down the river. Mate, do you want the, uh, the mat? Yeah, better because otherwise I'll get um, called barbaric or something. Yeah, mate. I'm not using the net mat, mat under the net. Even though the net's like really cool and safe and, you know. Thank you, sir. 
always got to be one there, isn't it? Yeah. Right. There they go. Nice little stickle back from the plen. No size to this one. He's probably pound and a half if we're lucky. Anyway, ladies, you know what? You know what I'm thinking. Conga bait. Like conga bait. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, Mark? Uh, Keith. Yeah, boy, no. Hooks come out in the net. I can't do that to him, can I? I can't. It is good enough to go back. To yes, yeah, gone. Can't do it. Not on camera, anyway. <laughs> Here we are, Sir Keith of Warwick. That's it. Just use the rod, mate. Pull back on the rod. Don't wind into the drag. So just pull back on him. That's it, that's it. He's gonna, he's gonna wanna come in here tight in a minute. Stop winding, just use the rod. Excellent, mate, excellent. That's it, it's a nice fish, mate. I'll wind down again on him, take another bite. Stop winding and just pull him back. You got him. That's it, feel the power. Firm but fair, mate, firm but fair, yeah? So Keith's really new to mullet fishing. I helped him out a few weeks ago because he was blanking all the time and we had a few down at Lara. He's gone round the Yeah, go on, mate, stuff. go on, give him some welly side, wet, side strain. Go on. He's right there, look. Just keep the side strain on him, mate. Keep the side strain on him. Pull him out, pull him out. Oh, he's in a weed. Oh, shit. Nah, mate, nah, nah. He's out of the... I'm all right, all right, you're all right, you okay? He's back in the game, he's back in the game. Yeah, baby. I'll say a bit of right side strength, Keith. Probably got one more run in him, that one. Woohoo! There's nothing like the power of a of a nice mullet on a on a light rod like that, guys. Here we are, look. Played to perfection, sir. <laughs> right, he's done, isn't he? I think so. Yeah, go on, Hank. Come to Bass Man. Mullet man or whatever you want to call me. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Plenty of time, mate. <laughs> They're getting bigger, mate. Oh. Oh. Except for the one that we lost yesterday, didn't they? Yeah, definitely. We had a nice three pounder yesterday. We were out yesterday having a bit of fun. And uh, oh, he cooked a nice three pounder, three plusser, and uh, we didn't have a net. And I went to get it out, and it transferred the hook into my finger, and it was like, anyway. So, Not to worry. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Many thanks. Very well done, there. There's your PV mullet. It's probably about. Two and a half pound, I would have said. Oh, nice yeah. Hooked. She's Just, fat, mate. Yeah, yeah. Two and a half, maybe a bit more, look. She's nicely hooked in the scissors. So we'll just get that out. Um, there you go. So it hooks out of the net, sir. Over to you. Do you want to uh, pick it up and get a picture for you? Yes, please. Yeah, I've got the phone. Under, under you go, sir. There we go. So nice team effort there. On the black rock all round the rods. You turn and face square. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. Well done, Keith. Thank nice. you very much. Yeah. <laughs> the obligatory kiss. Oh, yeah. And back she goes. Catch them, kiss them, and pull them back. back. That's what we've got to do. Well done, mate. Well done, Keith. What well on racks? Hey! <laughs>